parts of it. And the Bible says in Revelation uh, Revelation 9, let's go to Revelation 9. So in Revelation 3, 9, the Bible says that the locusts, it's commanded they, they not hurt the grass or 4, trees or any green 20, thing. 20, And it was commanded, commanded that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any of the green things, neither any tree. This is really important word right here. My God, I just saw this. Wow, thank God. Oak. Do you know how important what I just showed you is right here? Thank God, an oak. Did you know Christ is referred to as an oak? <laughs> the self-existent eternal Jehovah is an oak. Yep. So any oak. There you go. There you go. Or only those men which have not the seal, the signet, as a fencing or protecting from misappropriation, the seal of God in their foreheads. I can't, I've never seen it before. That's a mind blower right there. Look. That so the locust can't hurt you if the one that's accompanying you is Christ is the oak because Christ is the oak. Do you understand? So, but if I work for President Biden and I and I did work for him and I said, well, I've really enjoyed working for President Biden, my brain could put that together because I actually worked for him. So it, it would be a possibility. Would it be possible for someone to say, I've really enjoyed working for President Obama, like Obama, when you really work for President Biden? That, would that be that spirit like is the one that's accompanying that you, you? Is plausible. The answer is not even close. You couldn't do it. Your brain doesn't have the pathway. You never worked for President Obama. So you couldn't put that stuff together in your head. I've really enjoyed working for President Obama. The, the locust can't hurt you. But if you don't... What? But remember, Obama said he would love to do a third term from his basement. That's kind of convenient, isn't it? It's kind of convenient. That, that sounds Joe's like a scary logo moment. logo is, is the Obama logo just fully risen, isn't it? No, the locust can't hurt you if the one that's accompanying you is Christ, is the oak. sure like that. That's kind of weird. Now, let me show you what the symbology is of the Statue of Liberty. So the Statue of Liberty looks towards the rising of the sun. And it's really, it's the personification of the sun. It's called Helios. Helios coming up out of the pit. And the Statue of Liberty representing the mother goddess system waiting for their king so to rise up out of the pit. That's why they have the Statue of Liberty looking towards the rising sun. Did you know the cult of Sabud, which Obama's mom was in? It means the rising sun. Wow. Go watch my video called The Antichrist Unveiled, uh, The Sun Rising in the West. It's on the Click Files. It will blow your mind. Now, let's do this. 
Now let's do that little vid I told you about this. Now, let me ask you uh, an honest question. If I had never worked for um, that, that spirit is the one that's accompanying you. President Obama, if I never worked for him, would it be possible to say I've really enjoyed working for President Obama? How the, the locust can't hurt you, but if you don't, how could my brain even grab those ideas if I never even worked for him? But if I work for President Biden and I and I did work for him and I said, well, I've really enjoyed working for President Biden. My brain could put that together because I actually worked for him. So it it would be a possibility. Would it be possible for someone to say, I've really enjoyed working for President Obama, <clears throat> like Obama? Where are we going? The Bible says a man may devise his plans, but the Lord orders his steps. The Lord has ordered all my steps. He made. I want to thank Mr. Bill and Bill and Shrouties, what our last name is. And even that the girl I, I was with the night I got saved, her name was Eleuthera. He made sure of that. Even the girl I was with, he made sure of her name. He made sure when I was skydiving with her, as I flew up to her and I kissed her, she knocked off my glasses because as soon as I kissed her, I couldn't see. He He's made sure of a lot of things in my life so I would understand what he was showing me because he knew I would need that kind of communication to be able to deal with what I'm doing. He's made sure of a lot of things in my life so I would understand what he was showing me because he knew I would need that kind of communication to be able to deal with what I'm doing. We have heard that God is with you. Acts chapter 2, verse 6. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. What he says... I would be delighted if you would accept my invitation to come to the inauguration of the Corpus Clock and celebrate the release of the Chronophage. Now, you know your Old Testaments, most of you. You know that when God brought his people out of Egypt, he told them to build a what? Anybody? A tabernacle. A tent, a tabernacle. A place... So they again, have a place <clears throat> who's the Jesus at the here? center of their encampment. In the, in, and they were to attend that place, go to that place, and here's why. The Lord said, there I will meet with you. There I will speak with you. At a place. Later on, the tabernacle was abandoned. They built a temple, a permanent structure. It was a place where sacrifices were enacted. That's a place where God's people got together. That's a place where they publicly met with God and worshiped God. But later on, the temple was destroyed by the Babylonians. When the temple was destroyed by the, by the Babylonians, before they built another one, which is in the New Testament, they decided that they needed to get together at places, so they developed sunagoges, which synagogue means gathering place. I would be delighted if you would accept my invitation to come to the inauguration. A tent, a tabernacle. A place. They were to have a place at the center of their encampment. And they were to attend that place, go to that place, and here's why. And celebrate the release of the chronophage, which is this. This is the chronophage. And the relative time. Okay, so. The release of the chronophage. I would be delighted if you would join me at the inauguration and the release of the chronophage and relative time onto the unsuspecting citizens of Cambridge 
You see the word unsuspecting? Why would, if you're talking about a clock, a clock, <laughs> a clock, why would you say, I One, wish two, three, you four, would, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 hands. At the inauguration, <clears throat> you know what an inauguration is? When like someone takes like inauguration of a president where you take your throne. the inauguration and the release of the chronophage, which is the grasshopper thing. And by the way, I'm going to show you some of this stuff like the grasshopper escapement mechanism. <laughs> yeah, that's what runs the, the clock. It's called the grasshopper escapement mechanism. Do you find that weird? Do you find that a little bit odd that it's called the grasshopper escapement? Well, what I'm Taylor, and this is the Corpus Clock. It's just struck three. We're in the workshop just outside Cambridge where it's being built. I'd like to show you something about it. So, where are the hands? I wanted to create a new and a different way of showing time. This is not a computer generation, but a true mechanical clock. Possible they're being completely manipulated and they're being blackmailed and uh, they have to do what the sun rising over the s stripes of the American flag tells them to do or them and all their family are going to have a short ride more than likely. I mean, I can't see that it could be anything else at this point to you. Right. So anyway, pretty fascinating. I'm Biden every single day. I love spending. Okay. Now let's move on to here. Now. Let's go back to what I was saying. Now they have they have said on this video that I did where I said the new world order is a... Well, I mean, you and... Obama. ...his plans, but the Lord orders his steps. The Lord... Biden? Obama. Now, whether they're actually behind the mask itself or that's who they're controlling is still uh, up for debate. Great way to arm them, wouldn't it? What about sending planes in the dead of night with a cargo planes filled with gold bullion to Iran? Why would you ever start up the Iran nuclear deal again? Which is what Joe Biden's doing. Which is what Joe Biden's doing. Trying to get the Iran nuclear deal. Do you know how twisted that is? Only someone that's against the well-being of the United States would do any of the things I just mentioned. So, but then again, remember I just showed you Joe Biden and Hunter Biden. They're in bed with the Chinese Communist Party. They're in bed with Apparently, Russia getting millions of dollars from Russia, and they're getting money from Burisma, which is that's out of the not, Ukraine. Uh, and that's all over the in. news. Uh, I'll just uh, right here. It says uh, in Forbes magazine, title of the article: "Russia and China are leading a new world order." Russian foreign minister says. Here's another one from CNN. Title of the article: "Plainly, China's new world order." And by the way, when you read that, it's very interesting. CNN points out that they have a, that China, you know who they're in cahoots with? They're getting they're along very well with Islamabad, and... Pakistan. Those Arabs, the Muslim nations. China finds 82% favorability with uh, Islamabad, Pakistan. They favor China 82%, whereas the U.S. is only 22%. There's a relation going on with, uh, there's a split going on right here. You see this split, this division? To Iran. Why would you ever start up the Iran nuclear deal again, which is what Joe Biden's doing? How convenient. You got a phone call. The name Joe Biden. Which is what Joe Biden's doing.
trying to get the Iran nuclear deal. Do you know how twisted that is? Only someone that's against the well-being of the United States would do any of the things I just mentioned. So, but then again, remember I just showed you Joe Biden and Hunter Biden, they're in bed with the Chinese Communist Party. What's the they're split in bed in division? With, I taught you this in Revelation class, but I taught you this. If you look at Revelation chapter 6, we're not going to turn over there, but I taught you that when the Antichrist starts out conquering the world, that's United Nations, right? There's a different group of nations fighting against him. And in Revelation 6 points out the red horsemen where nations are shedding blood. And I pointed out to you at Revelation 6 the clues of which countries matches best with those nations fighting against each other, against the Antichrist is communist and Muslim. Communist and Muslim. The ordered all my and steps. I he made sure even that the girl I, I was with the night I got saved, her name was Eleuthera. So they are fit extensions that God uses for his kingdom. Well, the devil has the same thing. Well, don't the devil mimics God. So the devil, Satan, has taken over a fit extension named Lady Gaga. And by the way, nobody should hate on her. You should be praying for this poor woman. I mean, she got her fame, she got her fortune, and she's got a serious place in, in the fire, guys. That's as bad as it gets. Prince of the power of the air. Bail, bail, air, bell, bell air. Fresh, fresh prince. Will. Banks. You might be a little confused because Jabara Banks plays Will Smith in the show. Huh? Jabari Banks. But the story behind that, Will Smith, isn't actually Will Smith's story. Smith starred as the character in the original sitcom, and this story just picks up the same sorts of threads perfect record of every single transaction that happens in the economy, which will give us far greater clarity over what's going on. It also orchestrates things is a timing thing. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to fix my DRAG thing here. So anyway, so what I want to do is huge dangers in terms of the balance of power between states and citizens. Uh -huh. There's no question that this is a mask. Absolutely. Opinion: We're going to need a digital constitution of human rights if we're going to have digital money. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, it's just something about you just can't turn from side to side naturally when you have a mask on. There, it just doesn't. It's impossible for that to look natural. This new money will be sovereign in nature. Most people think that digital money is crypto and private, but uh, what I see are superpowers introducing digital currency. The Chinese were the first. The U.S. is on the brink, I think, of moving in the same direction. The Europeans have committed to that as well. And I want to pause it right there. This is super important, very important. You'd listen to it. Listen to the words. She said the Chinese were first. The U.S. is on the brink. I talked about Gog and Magog. And then she says, and the Euro, uh, she says, the U.S. is on the brink, and the European countries have committed to it as well. This is so great. You know why? Now that Biden, um, now that Biden and Obama are talking about it, the new world, the order. The conspiracy about it. Well, guess what? It is a conspiracy. And that's all it is. But it's self evident that the people that know truly who these two are and you're working directly under them and they're telling you directly. You have to listen to this. And then after I do that little chunk of video, I'm moving on to, look, the Lord has confirmed to me, locusts are coming from the pit. I'm going to show you. Look, 
I'm going to show you the way the Lord confirms to me. This is the way he does it. You know, the Vatican's a snake, okay? Jonathan, come in and look at the Vatican from Google Earth at a 45 degree angle. And I did what he said, and the Vatican's a snake. Okay, end of story. Okay, now, let's listen to what they say. They've already announced the world digital currency. And so this is why John is the tents that are here, reading from Isaiah 61 baptizing at the Jordan, the river flowing with, you know, you know what it's flowing with in this system. But truly, John is decreasing and he's, bat he's baptizing in this system here it ties into the actual reality where you go there's some tents set up now you go down to the to the river but even after after that i think what did you say skip they'll be looking to throw them off the the cliff it's over here somewhere where is it Uh, maybe here, yeah. This area. Looking at, oh, look at that. There you go. Healed from the sin that condemns their soul. That's People get healed from their anxiety, their rejection, their addiction, their betrayal, but not healed from the sin that condemns their soul. That's no healing at all. It's no healing at all. They need a Savior. Right? They need a Savior. So Jesus is saying in the synagogue that day, in church that day, that's me. That's why I've come. I'm the, that one. Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. I've come to preach the gospel to the poor as well as do all these other things. So, what happened at church that day? Well, it didn't end well. Uh, Mark's gospel of this account just says that he went to the synagogue and they were offended at him. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Jesus offended me. Everybody gets offended today at anything. There's now micro offense. Oh, those shoes offend me. Really? Well, you're offending me. Of, of, uh, that offends me. Well, you just said offend me. Now we're both offended at each other. We're just, let's get offended. Jesus offended them. They were offended at him. Why is that? Sorry I got carried away on that. <laughs> so here, look at verse 23. He said to them, you will surely say this proverb to me, physician, heal yourself. Fits right into the church being a hospital. Physician, heal yourself. Whatever we've heard done in Capernaum, do also here in your country. And he said, assuredly, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you truly, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, and there was a great famine throughout all the land. But to none of them was Elijah sent except to Zarephath in the region of Sidon to a woman who was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elijah the prophet, and to none of them, none of them were cleansed except for Naaman the Syrian. So all those in the synagogue, when they heard these sayings, were filled with wrath. Rose up and thrust him out of the city, led him to the brow of the hill on which their city was Built. I'm going to take you, if you're coming to Israel with us, to that very brow of the hill. And I
Look at that. Look at that serpent. I may I may be repeating what I just put up there because I thought I had push record. I'm showing you the serpent here, the brow of the hill. Dragon. in the synagogue when they heard these sayings were filled with wrath. Oh, what a shame. Rose up and thrust him out of the city, led him to the brow of the hill on which their city was built. I'm going to take you, if you're going to Israel with us, to that very brow of the hill in a few weeks, that they might throw him down over the cliff. And then passing through the midst of them, he went his way. I, I got to tell you, I take comfort in the fact that they didn't like Jesus' sermon. I just take a little bit of comfort in that because, I, you know, there have been times in my preaching career where I've shared and I go, oh, that was a hard message. I know some people aren't going to like it, and I get emails from people. And I know it's very common for people after church to have roast preacher for lunch. That's a very common fear. Mama was the sun rising over the stripes of the west, the coming of the Mahdi shall be preceded by the sun rising from the place of its setting, which is the west. So Obama's logo is that. First, now, Joe, we know, is a complete US babbling fool, but they're the using him green. as a scapegoat. This is the guy that's really running things right now. Guaranteed. Do y'all remember the video where he said he would like to do another term, but he would like to do it in sweats from the basement with an earpiece in? And do you think he's not doing that? Of course he is. Why do you think all these people are covering up for him? Well, if he's the Antichrist, well then that would be that would make sense why they're all covering up for him. Straight things because is a they're timing that other thing. race of beings. Sorry guys, I'm and just trying to fix my incarnation of Satan. So anyway, so in a host body, Jesus what I want to do the is incarnation of uh, I'm gonna tell you right now God that sometimes there's scriptures that everyone in the world thinks they knew because they were told and the US by some Christ preacher the preacher in some church where they didn't even have the key to understand anything. The Bible says no one to you teachers of the law. For you well, hide the, the keys the US is to knowledge. Free. So like, you know you by the words and the way she formed her sentence that no she is including the U.S. So I'm here to deliver that, that key of knowledge okay, just to the whole yeah, world. Sometimes when That's people what I've been doing. And way to some of the scriptures that nobody, nobody had. All right. <clears throat> so there's three. There's three. I mean, these three are definitely different looking. Listen to the voice. This one. The Obama, the the queen, the mother goddess, has a a different voice. Listen and to listen more carefully to what they're actually saying. I want you. And then Joe Biden. I beheld Satan falling as lightning from heaven. Barack. 
So he's he's seen Obama fall from heaven. Obama. Now I did. Now, and then this one here, because you know the neck is definitely a mask. Brought forth, the Lord God gave. It's definitely different. And then I did a video a long time ago. It's called the Adam, Sun Rising, the Antichrist Unveiled, the Sun Rising in the West. I did it many years ago. It's probably got seven million views. <clears> but they the Son of Man. So Jonathan Cleck, the Jacob. Jonathan, and then Jonathan Cleck, the Esau. Right? It's just what it reminds me of. Because this Jonathan Cleck I've seen before. And he, he had, I, I remember one time he's like, yeah, if it was up to me, I would lay my hands on people. But it's not up to me. You know, like, lay my hands on you instead of laying your hands. And, but at the same time, they targeted my channel and destroyed it. They took it. Well, you said that they took your channel down. Down for total BS. However. Okay, so now let me show you the insanity, okay? So I do a video yesterday announcing that they have announced the New World Order, which is exactly what they said, and I'm going to show you. They have announced the One World Currency. They have announced it. But let me show you what the uh, the the people that are running these platforms. Let me show you what they're doing. People that are running these platforms. Let me show you what they're doing. Let me show you what the uh, the the people that are running these platforms. Let me show you what they're doing. Here is the video that I did yesterday. It said, so there's there, they. So you're saying you run the platforms then, which means I thought this before anyway. The ones that run the platform are the ones that cut their own channels off. Not that you're completely cut off yet, because you haven't fully decreased, but cutting yourself off of the actual platform itself to make it seem like you're just, you know, one of us being uh, harassed with your channel, but it's really your time. And then that's the same thing with Derek Bros. It kind of in the in the world itself. It seems like he, he's over in Arizona, but kind of suppressed away from the world. But if this Isle of Patmos isn't the YouTube platform, and it's actual United States of America, and John was on the island of Patmos, then it makes it seem like, all right, well, then you may be running, you use maybe running the YouTube platform itself. And maybe that's how Derek got it, got on. And then after he rose from the dead, got on, got his platform, kind of handed uh, on a platter, like when Mary and Martha would always, or Mary. Mary said, or Christ said, don't cling to me, Mary. I have not ascended to the Father yet. And I remember Derek saying one time before, because this is all world script. I'm just trying to figure out who's, in, who's playing who here. And he said before where he thinks that means, in other words, don't pay for my, don't give me property yet. Don't pay for everything. Don't buy me a new Lamborghini yet. Just hold off. Wait. Just wait, I haven't ascended to the Father just yet. And then, because Mary was uh, very well off with with properties and money somehow, that she actually supported Christ in his ministry after he rose from the dead. That's why he gets up and reads Isaiah 61 and then stops after two, two verses or two chapters or two uh, 
verses because he had already risen from the dead and, and they don't they want him dead so then they so then they'll try to throw him off the cliff because they're not having it like no you're not Jesus And give you give it all to you. The Hoover Dam. Well, I mean the dam. Here's the Hoover Dam. Real. The design of it. And then it's the same thing on that Ian Bud Light commercial. Yeah, you know, it's funny when I was at that uh, the barn house, me and my wife. The the one dude came up, this black dude with dreads, built, very handsome fella. He came up at the end. He's like, "Hey, you want a free beer?" And I'm like, "Nah, we're getting ready to leave, but thanks anyway." And then I go back up to him, and and say, "You know, I'll take a rain check." And I'm like, "What's your name?" He said, "Ian." I'm like, oh, Ian, if I give you this beer, if I give you a beer, are you up for whatever happens tonight? No, but I'll take the free beer, though. Because it's so rich, but I want to look at it a little bit differently, and I want to give you three elements that are in every church, three elements of any church. Place, people, proclamation. Place, people, proclamation. Places are important. People are more important. Proclamation is all important. And I'd like you to see that from our text. First of all, places are important. Let's begin in chapter 4, verse 16. So... He came to Nazareth. That's a place where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue. That's a place on the Sabbath day. And he stood up to read. Synagogue. Magog. Gog. Magog. Sin. Agog. And he was handed the book of the prophet Isaiah. I would be delighted if you would accept my invitation to come to the inauguration of the Corpus Clock and celebrate the release of the Chronophage on the Sabbath day. And he stood up to read and he was handed the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. Now, we know that the church is never a place. It's always a people. We know that the, the word church, when Jesus said, I'm going to build my church, ecclesia, means a group of people called out of the world. If you look at Revelation chapter 6, we're not that's how blind people can get. Oh, sorry, too fast. Revelation 17, there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, talked to me, saying unto me, come, come here. I will show, show you the judgment of the great whore that sits upon many waters. She's called a whore because she was whoring in Babylon. Celebrate the release of the chronophage. When the leaders of the people. And celebrate the release of the chronophage, which is, which is this. This is the chronophage. And the relative time, okay, so, now remember, this man is a very highly educated man. He uses his words in a way that people that have a very good vocabulary use their words. If he chose the word unsuspecting, because they want everybody, they want to know everything you're doing. It's totalitarian enslavement. I'll tell you right now, sometimes there are scriptures that everyone in the world thinks they knew because they were told by some preacher 
in some church where they didn't even have the key to understanding anything. The Bible says, Woe unto you teachers of the law, for you hide the key to knowledge. You don't enter the kingdom yourself, and you stop others who are trying to enter. So I'm here to deliver that key of knowledge to the whole world. That's what I've been doing. And some of the scriptures that nobody nobody had brought forth, the Lord God gave to me in order to be an end-time harbinger so people would know the truth. The Bible says in the end, everything secret will be made public. Go ahead and sum up and add me to your subscription list. Hate to say it, but I must have hit a nerve. Yeah, that's that's what it is. So. July 31st, 2019. For the record. We know that the, the word church, when Jesus said, I'm going to build my church, ecclesia, means a group of people called out. Because we are all broken at levels that we just don't quite comprehend yet. Hate to say it, but I must have hit a nerve. Over there, but I taught you of the nation. Ezra chapter 9 clearly identifies and they mingled their seed. It says it's a conspiracy theory. Let's see if it's really Let's a see conspiracy what is the, theory. What was the Let's word he used? He used so, he's a, he's allowed me to Alfred participate P. in that. Of time. See, and Alfred P. Mora building. With the peoples of the lands, the Hittites. That when the Antichrist starts out conquering the world, that's you. He found the place where it was written. Now, we know that the church is never a place. It's always a people. We know that the, the word church, when Jesus said, I'm going to build my church, ecclesia, means a group of people called out of the world. And we're going to be revealed in the sense as to what I say as things progress. You're going to find out all of your weaknesses coming up. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. So, for the record. It's, so, I guess if you're watching this video, it means that my other channel doesn't help me understand uh, what's written in that article without even knowing the article was there beforehand. It's even, uh, it's even manifested in the Bible when Jesus said what his ministry was. As prophesied from the prophet Isaiah, Isaiah prophesied the coming of the Messiah and what his ministry would be. In Isaiah, I think 60 or 61. Forming a new culture, a new society. So, the church is not a place where people meet. The church is a group of people who happen to meet at a place. That's what the Bible says. But that is person, place, or thing. I think that's a noun, if I'm not mistaken, from what I've learned in eighth grade, because that's as far as I went. So, I mean, I got my GED, but I mean, I went to a two-year trade school. After that, it was a college, junior college, but I just skipped through. <laughs> uh, it's funny. I just skipped through high school altogether. It's not to say that places are not important. If places were <clears throat> not important, the author would not have mentioned the places. So you could go to a plate. You can, basically, they went to a noun. Christ built his church, a bunch of people. And then they went to a, a noun, either to a person, place, or a thing. 
And he mentions Nazareth. He mentions the synagogue. He's drawing attention to the fact that they were at a place. So Jesus goes into the synagogue. He goes into the synagogue. He's drawing attention to the fact that they were at a place. So Jesus goes into the synagogue. Hey, he goes into a place. We would say again, he goes to church, a place of public worship. Hey, you, you know I'm usually sitting down here, right? On the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. No, I have a question about that. Why did he go there? Why, why, why did Jesus need to go to the synagogue? Wouldn't you agree that if there was ever a person who never needed to go to church, it would be Jesus? Why did he go? Why would he go? Why did he go there? Why, why, why did Jesus need to go to the synagogue? Wouldn't you agree? I'd have to say to get baptized at the Jordan River. name I am Jesus of Nazareth welcome Jesus when Jesus meets John the Baptist this is the first time we see Jesus as an adult According to the Gospel of Luke, Jesus and John the Baptist were cousins. But in our earliest Gospel, the Gospel of Mark, they don't seem to be related. When John the Baptist sees Jesus, he doesn't recognize him at all. I had always thought that my task was to find him. that he found me. Anyway, so there was the, the prophecy of the coming of the Messiah and that he would open the dungeons. It literally says the restoration of sight by redoubling your eyes. That's exactly what it says in the... I will scatter them also among the nations whom neither they nor their fathers have known and I will send the sword after them till I have consumed them. And as we've already gone into this, Matthew 23. 100% and I heard turn it upside down, turn the word nylon upside down. And I did, and I looked at it, and I had to sound it out. I went, 100%, no lion? Yep. Turn it upside down, and then there will be no lion. My body just lit up. Like, what the? It was like, And I was just like, ah, what the hell is going on? And at that moment, I mean, a supernatural blanket of energy had enveloped me. And I was like, ah. I was literally going like, what? Is electronic the world harassment is? or like, psychotronic ah, torture wah. or electromagnetic torture is a conspiracy theory that government agents make use of electromagnetic radiation. It's not a theory. Not at all. I can attest to it not being a theory. I thought it was a theory. I thought it was a conspiracy theory. Until you start experiencing it, it's like, oh, the fuck is going on? Such as the microwave auditory effect, radar, 
and surveillance techniques to transmit sounds and thoughts into people's heads, affect people's bodies, and harass people. Individuals who claim to experience this call themselves targeted individuals and many have joined support and advocacy groups. Don't even pay attention to this. It's not real. Right, Johnny? It's like, oh, well, at least I'm communicating with the angel of the bottomless pit. He had enveloped me and I was like, Ugh. I was literally going like, what in the world is this? Like, ah, whoa. But it wasn't scary. It wasn't like, ooh, bad. It was like, whoa, what is this? So. Yeah, it's just, it's just like slightly irritating. That's all. And my body just lit up. Like, what the? It was like. <laughs> and I was just like, ah. Yeah, it's funny. What huh? the hell's going on? And at that moment. Medical consensus is that these experiences are hallucinations or the result of delusional disorders or no. psychosis. No, the that's not. The same sources from which arise religious delusions, accounts of alien abductions, and beliefs and visitations from dead relatives. Yeah, they really throw some things out there to, if you claim any kind of body buzzing, then you're you're hallucinating and, and seeing dead people and, and all that nonsense. I mean, a supernatural blanket of energy had enveloped me and I was like... Yeah, here's my question. When does it stop? I was literally going like, what in the world is this? Like, ah, whoa. But it wasn't scary. It wasn't like, ooh, bad. It was like, whoa, what is this? I'll give you an example right now. I don't feel anything. When you go and try to relax, Things tend to not be the same. So in other words, so in that very first communication, the Lord gave me the mystery of solving the entire mystery of the world. One hundred percent, no nylon didn't make any sense. Like we've been all, all of us that have come into this world, we've been inverted. The world doesn't make any damn sense. It's ridiculous. I'm going to show you some stuff here in a minute. Just ridiculous. On how nonsensical it is. Turn it upside down. <clears throat> but so we get inverted. Nothing makes any sense. It's ridiculous. And <laughs> It's ridiculous. Like this dick right there. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. No more 100%. No lion. When I said 100%. Nylon, that didn't make any sense, especially if the Lord God, the creator of all things, was speaking to me. Maybe I'd lost my mind. But then he tells me to turn it upside down, and I turned the word nylon upside down, and it was 100%. Then I said 100%. No lion. Lion? No lion. In the belly, lion. Outside, normal. Inside, no lion belly. The serpent crawls on its belly. Like 100% truth. 100% no lion. Performance of fishing. Hook. At the top. Because he has, he has those three fish and then one big one. is 100% truth. I'll give you all the all the spots where Fleck is pointing towards uh, Joe Biden. Absolute proof that 
John Brennan, Clapper, Comey, all those <clears throat> dirt bags, they all colluded to try and take down a president. They all colluded to protect Hillary Clinton. They all colluded to protect Joe Biden, who was doing the exact same thing that they were accusing Donald Trump of doing. Charges and they're impaling grand juries. They're going after him now because they have absolute proof that John Brennan, Clapper, Comey, all those dirt bags, they all colluded to try and take down a president. They all colluded to protect Hillary Clinton. They all colluded to protect Joe Biden. Who is doing the exact same thing that they were accusing Donald Trump of doing. Well, that's crazy because, you know, that's the same thing that used to happen to me until I just proved it all and shoved it in their face in the middle of a courtroom, and then I prevailed. But now watch. Right here it says, inside Hunter Biden's multi-million dollar deals with Chinese energy company before he announced his intentions to run for the White House. Joe Biden... You absolutely, Hunter Biden. They were working together. Joe the Biden. Guy, Bobulinski, even said he met with Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, and they said 10% goes to the big guy, which is Joe Biden, from a Chinese Communist Party energy company. Before he announced his intentions to run for the White House, Joe Biden knew... Absolutely, Hunter Biden. They were working together. The guy, Bobulinski, even said he met with Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, and they said 10% goes to the big guy, which is Joe Biden, from a Chinese Communist Party energy company. Wow, can you imagine if Donald Trump did that? So how is it these people are not being drug out to the gallows right There's now? There's a split because that's going treason. on right here. You see this split, this division? What's this split and division? I taught you this in Revelation class. Um, and then they're lying about it. So, so they're selling the country out. They're selling all the people of the country out. But And the ten kings give their power unto the great red dragon. And the great red dragon is getting everybody to believe in the new world order. The new world order has to do with the conspiracy theory. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong hand of this or that a mark you can't buy or sell. So all those Kings and everybody's going to give their power to that beast. And at this time, the beast is going to take all everybody's everybody's money. Yeah, yeah. No, we're we're exchanging. Yeah, yeah. A, a blockchain is the way to go. Don't you understand? We just had literally words in a uh, John to click behind a mask. The okay, woman here. Okay, I want you guys. First of all, guys, God bless you. Welcome to this. Is it before the fire. they just. Announced his purpose was to make what it's confirmed. From the, let's make it peace. All right. Okay, guys, look, they have announced the new world order at the world government summit. World government. See, there's a one world government coming with Satan running it. Everybody should know that from the Bible. Here they are at the world government summit announcing it. They are announcing it. Okay, so I want you to hear him announce it. I want you to hear Klaus Schwab. Uh, Tell everybody there's going to be giant supply shortages, a systemic problem. They don't know where it's going to go yet, but they're they're going to roll it out. They don't care about anybody. This is where the faith of God is starts to come in, knowing that once everybody gives their power over to the to the one that's rising, the sun that's rising, they're giving all their power over. To who they believe that is, because for the next three and a half years, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to live by blockchain, cryptocurrency, no cash whatsoever, ever again, never again. I just think that uh, it's going to continue, and everybody's just going to give their cash over. 
and and that's how they get suckered into being broke because once once they realize that the cryptocurrency blockchain isn't going anywhere or doing anything and they just gave all their money over to satan not realizing that satan's god is the same god that i know that i've come into the youtube platform with saying worship him worship that god because in the end that's how everybody gets tricked the lie it's a big fat lie but they're all going to believe it because you can't you're not going to believe me because i don't know anything especially people from the inside that work underneath of you know everybody and you know that the reset has taken place and it's going to go with the cryptocurrency what you don't know is that the the money is going to continue on and you're just going to give your money over and get screwed i mean you may not i have no idea i'm just these are just my thoughts i just take wild guesses we have to get the new world order going that's what they're saying you have to listen to this. And then after I do that little chunk of video, I'm moving on to, look, the Lord has confirmed to me, locusts are coming from the pit. I'm going to show you. Look, I'm going to show you the way the Lord confirms to me. This is the way he does it. You know, the Vatican's a snake, okay? Point blank. End of story. Uh, she was an Next. advisor. Her, I think her dad was an advisor to Nixon on on uh economics and she's gonna start talking about so this is you then your dad was a would you say advisor to who is that is that um is your father king agrippa uh, she was an advisor her i think her dad was an advisor to nixon on on uh economics and she's gonna start talking about here comes you what that is palisade and stake means mark in revelation 13 for mark of the beast okay real quick let's listen okay yeah. here we go okay listen to what she says this lady is an advisor to uh she was an advisor her i think her dad was an advisor to nixon on on uh economics and she's gonna start talking about here comes the blockchain digital currency at the world government. See world government summit. See it? Okay, here we go. Let's let's listen. What underpins a world order is always the financial system. Mm. Uh, I was very mask. Privilege. My father was an advisor to Nixon when they came off the gold standard oh, in '71, and so look good there, I was brought up with a Looking kind good. of inside view of how very important. The financial structure like is to absolutely everything else. And what we're seeing in the world today, I think, is we are on the brink of a dramatic change where mm. we are about to, and I'll say this boldly, yes. we're about to abandon the traditional system of money and accounting huh. and introduce a new no, one. we're not. That's a Everybody's going to fall for it because I, I, I have no, it doesn't matter. I mean, I don't even have any money. So it's not like I have so much money, I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to be screwed if I don't go and buy this blockchain. I don't have the money to do it anyway. And I wouldn't, even if I had millions of dollars, I would leave it straight in the bank and just wait for everything to change over, collapse, and then, you know, and then continue on my life. The, the new one, the, dollar. the new accounting is what we call blockchain. It seems so obvious that it's going to go in the exact opposite of what they're pushing. Isn't that the way Satan is? What I've learned over my history of life, especially the last few years, Satan is very predictable. He's He does the exact opposite of what you would think would happen. It doesn't. And in order to get all the kings and all the, if they believe it too, I don't know. I don't know. If, do they really believe it? Maybe the 10 kings don't believe it. Maybe they do believe that. They have to give all their money over to the beast in order to exchange it for this currency because they're going with coins now. There's something in the Bible about whoever buys coins, something or other, like screwed or whatever. But it makes the most damn sense that Satan and his son 
they're going to give all the power over to them. And which means all their money, the banks, the whatever they got in their bank, they're just just here, here, let's get all this. And then something happens where. Uh, and I don't know, something collapses or some kind of electronic failure. And then all of a sudden everything goes to zero. Nobody has anything except for those that printed the money. Because why would Click want to get rid of his own dollar bills? It's such beautiful artwork on there. It means digital. Listen to it this. means having a almost perfect record mm. of every single transaction that happens in the economy, which will give us far greater clarity over what's going on. It also raises huge dangers in terms of the balance of power between states and citizens. In oh. my opinion, we're going to need a digital constitution of human rights if we're going to have digital money. Uh, but also, this new money will be sovereign in nature. Most people think that digital money is crypto and private. But what I see are superpowers introducing digital currency. The Chinese were the first. The U.S. is on the brink, I think, of moving in the same direction. The Europeans have committed to that as well. And I want to pause it right there. This is super important, very important. You listen. That was April 3rd yesterday. And then today's Johnny doesn't sound like he has a cold anymore. They're covering their ass in the intelligence community. Uh, Clapper, so Brennan, and 51. The she said the Chinese were first. The U.S. is on the brink. But then Other listen to the next sentence. Alleged, uh, you know, uh, members of that. Uh, Your cold cleared up? Cleared up today, Johnny? The intelligence community wrote a letter saying it was Russian disinformation, the Hunter Biden laptop. Why is everybody coming out right now admitting that the Hunter Biden laptop is legit? Better watch out. Here it comes, guys. And then she says, and the Euro, uh, she says, the U.S. is on the brink, and the European countries have committed to it as well. As and then, oh, where did you go? Some other shows on this channel. All right, did I erase it? Lord orchestrates things is a timing thing. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to fix my DRAG thing here. So anyway, so... Yep. So... I think that's when Shaggy was... Or Scooby was trying to warn Shaggy that Mary Jane is a man in a mask. So there's definitely one. This is a different Jonathan from this... From this Jonathan. From this Jonathan. I feel like this is the, the mother. Goddess. Obama. And then this is the Joe Biden. And then this is. Uh, this would be. George Bush or Hunter Biden? What I want to do is, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, sometimes there are scriptures that everyone in the world thinks they knew. And then they're lying about it. So so they're selling the country out. They're selling all the people of the as country well as out. Who? Well, she just mentioned the U.S. is on the brink. So, you know, by the words and the way she formed her sentence. But they're covering their ass in the intelligence community. Uh, Clapper, Brennan, and 51 others. Because they were told by some preacher in some church where they didn't even have the key to understanding anything. The See, I get, because I mentioned the neck, that one video, remember when you did the neck check? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Got it running. It was too much vehicle for my son. So it's pretty fascinating. Uh, he called me yesterday, a couple days ago, and 
I told him, yeah, I'll take it back. It's just too much vehicle for him. And uh, he's just got some other plans in his life and this vehicle doesn't fit with it. Anyway, so isn't it odd I posted the video yesterday and today I'm driving a white horse and my son's name is Steven, which means crown. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. So, making a quick video, I'm in um, a white Mustang Fastback 1965. Uh, Mike had it. He, uh, he donated it to the Ark. I went ahead and fixed it up and gave the Ark some money for it. And in the Quran, it says the coming of the Mahdi will be preceded by the sun rising from the place of its setting. Wow, that's crazy. That's Obama's logo. Let me show you a couple pictures. Okay, so let me show you that she is including the, the U.S. in the city. There's Obama right there. See it right there? Obama and Biden. That is the sun rising over the stripes of the West. In order for them and so that's seated by the sun rising from the place of its setting wow that's crazy that's obama in other words the son of man the son of man his logo let me show you a couple pictures okay so let me show you the obama logo there's a there's nobody else showing me that they're Obama or Joe Biden representing the two as much as these two are. Obama, right there. See so it, I right just got to go with what I see. There, Obama and Biden. That is the sun rising over the stripes of the West. Add. Add then. Add then. Obama, mama. Obama. Here's Joe's logo. It's, see, J-O, it's the sun fully risen. So that's, that's Lazarus, the angel of the bottomless pit out of the pit. Do you understand the logo shows it all? Obama was the sun rising over the stripes the of follows. the West. The coming of the Mahdi shall be preceded by the sun rising from, from the place of its setting, which is the West. So Obama's logo is that. Now the West, so Obama's logo is that. Now Joe, we know, is a complete babbling fool, but they're using him as a scapegoat. This is the guy that's really running things right now. Okay, just guaranteed. You have sometimes when people speak, there's a way to listen and to listen more carefully to what they're actually saying. I want you to listen very carefully to what she just said. Let's go back and listen to that one more time. Do y'all remember the video where he said he would like to do another term, but he would like to do it in sweats from the basement with an earpiece in? Do you think he's not doing that? Of course he is. Why do you think all these people are covering up for him? 
Well, if he's the any. That's funny. I remember supervisor at work that I said before. He, one day he's like, yeah, I just got whispered in, into my ear that we need to uh, do some, something or another. Oh, so you have, so that's how they communicate with you, right in your ear. Any Christ. Well, then that would be, that would make sense why they're all covering up for him because they're that other race of beings. And he's the incarnation of Satan in a host body. Jesus was the incarnation of El, the Almighty God. Jesus was Emmanuel, with us is El. And the Antichrist is the incarnation of the angel of the bottomless pit in a host body. Now, the Bible says in Luke 10, 18, I believe, uh, I beheld Satan falling as lightning. Well, she just mentioned the U.S. is on the brink. Go look so up you the know word by the words the and the way she formed Barack. her sentence. Lightning from O oh, and the heavens is Bama. I beheld Satan falling as lightning from heaven, Barack. Obama. Now to the right and to the left. T S. T's. Do you think it's even remotely possible? I was wondering about my my dad's uh, brother that supposedly died when he was my my father's twin brother. If he really didn't die, then that means that I have an uncle out there still. I'm sure he's alive because my dad died. He would have been like 75. With the elite, you guys live to you're like 170,000 years old. So I'm sure if that's the case, then he probably had a bunch of kids, like 12 of them, maybe, maybe even 11. And their last name is T's. That's why I keep hearing a lot about T's, even though I don't know any other T's, except for Joshua, my cousin who... Uh, lied about things that I said I did when I didn't do them because I was already involved with taking appliances from certain places. But I but I did not defecate on the floor of the one model home that him and somebody else robbed. And then they just involved me with it. So he lied and said I was involved with that. And uh, so he's the only other tease that I know. But he's not even really my, he's a cousin. Matter of fact, we don't even know who his father is. And my step, my aunt Barbie, not Corey Barbie, but my aunt Barbie, who died years back, had him, but they didn't know the father. That was the rumor. I'm just wondering, was it one of these and just kind of had its own baby? I mean, who the hell knows anymore? that I could show you the same, the, that building on one side blowing up and on the back, I can show it to you blown up. And it matches the images I'm showing you on US, on, on the on the internet. There, and it matches the images I'm showing you on US, on, on, the, on the internet. Here's your answer. There it is. Oh, wow. Okay, so my question is, is this new world order a conspiracy? Yes or no? So let's read what they said it was. Let's go read it. New World Order Conspiracy Theory. He's showing you that it's a conspiracy theory and it's going to stay that way. Right? He's, Clegg is showing everybody, the whole world, this New World Order is only a conspiracy theory. Even though they're showing it to you directly like it's not, but it is. Hearing from the White House. Senator, thanks very much for being with us this morning. I want to cover three things this morning with you. I want to cover the uh, documents that you have indicating the money that the Biden family is taking in. I want Philly is taking in. Biden family is. So Biden from Philly is taking all the money. Maybe you were robbed in your home. Maybe it was a bad investment that rendered you vulnerable. Maybe you were robbed.